Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It's Friday, January 31st, 2014, and I'm Leanne McAdoo. Here's what's coming up tonight. Tonight, a TSA insider confirms the shocking level of corruption that infests the federal agency. Meanwhile, an investigation out of Georgia has uncovered multiple police departments engaged in roadside strip searches. The Department of Homeland Security censors a report on deadly force, and Mexico protects its borders better than the U.S. All that and more up next on the InfoWars Nightly News. Well, we've been warning you for years about how the TSA is nothing more than a bunch of unprofessional pervs shoving you through the nude body scanners. They're going to abuse their authority. And now an ex-TSA agent is speaking out and he says, yes, I was looking at you naked and we were laughing. The agent had written to the New York Times, following that knee-jerk response by the TSA to employ the nude body scanners after the underwear bomber made it onto the plane, Gee, I wonder how he did that with his FBI escort. Now, the agent went on to explain how he hated his job from the beginning. And in fact, most TSA agents hate their job. They know it's a useless waste of taxpayer money and an abuse of the population. The agent explained how he hates patting down the crotches of children, the elderly, and even infants. He was requ required to confiscate nail clippers from airline pilots with the logic being that those pilots were going to use the nail clippers to hijack their very plane they were flying. And he said a very low moment was when he had to confiscate a celebratory bottle of champagne from a group of Marines who were coming home from Afghanistan. One of the men had lost both his limbs to an IED, and he had to tell that man that, I'm sorry, although you risk your life for the security of this country, I've got to take away your celebratory champagne in the name of national security. Now, he also revealed how the selective list that was causing a lot of racial profiling issues, he said it was a purely political list because there was no need for the enhanced screening for anyone from Saudi Arabia or Pakistan, which are states historically known to harbor, aid, and abet terrorists. Now, of course, it's all political. It's all an opportunity for abuse of power and control. It has nothing to do with terrorism. We've been saying this from day one. We've been saying they'd be looking at your nude scanners and that, yes, indeed, there was a little bit more radiation than they had hoped for. But no, everything's fine. They're just there to keep us safe. And now that the Super Bowl is upon us, the TSA, they're going to roll them out in full force to just get us trained to say, oh, well, if you let us pat you down and put our hands in your pants and put you through the body scanners, we'll let you get on a train or we'll let you go to the football game and just basically this conditioning. And so in order to do this, they have to continually ramp up the terror threat. And now authorities there are saying that mass transit is being seen as the big risk, the top risk for the Super Bowl, specifically bomb attacks. And those are like the same kind that have torn through Russia's mass transit before the upcoming Sochi Olympics. Now, this article, of course, is quick to remind us of the reason for all of this terrorism by pointing out that the stadium is just 10 miles from the site of the 9-11 attacks. And then, of course, it also points out that the Boston bombing attacks were pulled off by these lone wolves, and that's the exact type of scenario that officials are worried that could happen along Super Bowl Boulevard. Now, even though both of those attacks have much evidence to support the theory that our own government was behind them and at the very least helped to implement them, they're going to go ahead and just roll this theory, this story, so that they can forge ahead with the TSA and all of this contrived security theater for our safety, of course. And of course, no contrived national security threat would be complete without suspicious packages. They've already found seven, they say, and near the site of the Super Bowl, one letter they examined was an unidentified, at an un unidentified location, was found to contain only baking soda. Now, authorities would not identify the sites that received the packages or describe why they were considered suspicious. Of course, because they really don't need to give you or I 
any reason for violating our rights. They're just going to go ahead and do it, and they're going to just come up with all these suspic suspicious packages. It never fails, the white powder packages. They always pop up when we have these national security threats. But look what else is the new norm. Snipers. That's right. You know, they were once reserved for war and for when the FBI wanted to secretly take out leaders of the Occupy movement. Now snipers are going to be trained on you and your drinking buddies, all for your safety, of course. Now officials want you to know that just because sniper and SWAT teams will be present at the game, it doesn't mean there's anything for the game goers to worry about. The snipers will just be doing their job so fans can have an enjoyably safe experience. Oh, safety. Gosh, where have we heard this so many times before? Giving up your liberty for safety. Oh my gosh. History repeats itself. And a thing that is, it's not only so sad and frightening that people are still buying this and considering this the new norm, they're actually begging for it. They're begging for this kind of treatment as long as it keeps them safe from al Qaeda. This is Jakari Jackson at Times Square. I'm so pumped up, ready to report on the Super Bowl, but not the Super Bowl, about the Super Bowl taking away my constitutional rights, violating my Fourth Amendment. I'm so... Ah! Yeah! Super Bowl! Yeah! Go Broncos! Go Seahawks! Yeah! Uh, violate my constitutional rights. Let's talk to these people. You, you excited about the Super Bowl? I'm a little bit excited. I'm a little disappointed. I don't have tickets, but you, you don't have tickets. No. We came here from Austin, Texas, and we want to talk about the Super Bowl, man. Who you guys going for in the okay, Super Bowl? Right. I'm going for the Broncos. Miami That's Heat. My, uh, okay, you you in the wrong game, bro. All right, sir. Tell me why the Seahawks are going to win. Russell Wilson and uh, Richard Chamber or Cam Cam Chamberlain. Why are the Broncos going to win this year? We're going to, the defense is going to play. They, they've been playing great for the last three or four weeks. All right. And Peyton Manning always has a plan. All right, Spider-Man, you've been protecting New York for decades now. Do you feel safe with all these NYPD officers out here? Yeah, I do. The city never sleeps and the, and the police do an excellent job. I feel, we feel safe. Well, I'll tell you, man, don't, don't you feel safe? I see the NYPD out here. I see all the cameras and all that. Does that make you feel safe? Yeah, and they have a good presence out here, more than usual. I see you need money for weed. Why do you need money for weed? I need money for weed so I could have a good Super Bowl, have a few drinks, and my name is Vendetta. So what do you think about the Super Bowl security? They're going to have the TSA-style pat-downs. They're going to be patting you down. They're going to be checking your drinks, doing x-ray scans. Are you good with that, sir? Uh, yes, sir, I can. You know, do what you have to do. Absolutely. That's, that's the way it is nowadays. So... Once you're inside, you know you're all right. You know? Yeah, so, so sir, you know, if we have to do a full proctology exam to get in there to keep everybody safe, that's what we need to do. <laughs> if you, that's what you need, yeah. Uh, are, is this a trick question? Because I see you're with InfoWars. Uh, to be honest with you, an increased police presence does not necessarily mean you're safer. It means you're more controlled. It, uh, it's designed to watch over us and to limit our ability to protect ourselves. They passed these new gun laws saying you can't have more than uh, 10 rounds in your, in your magazine and so forth. They don't want you to conceal carry out here. Does it make you feel safe to know that these people can't protect themselves with a firearm? Well, I think, I think they can, like, because there are a lot of cops, as I said, and, like, uh, they're controlling. I think everything is under control, you know? One round is enough, right? One round's enough. Okay, I, I feel safe already. I, sir, yeah. uh, just look at the camera right there and tell people how safe you feel right now in the city of New York. Uh, with you, buddy, I feel damn safe. Yeah. Let's go Seahawks! Seahawks! Yeah, give, me, give me Seahawks. Give me Seahawks. Get, go Hawks! I'll tell you the truth. I can't wait to the game jumps off because that's what it's all about. It's that's, about Super Bowl. It's about Super Bowl, baby. It's not about having constitutional yeah, rights. It's, it's not about your Super Fourth Bowl. Amendment. That's it's about the about. Super Bowl. That's yeah. Right. All right, you're not cool with Senator Dianne Feinstein, who wants to take away everybody else's guns, having a uh, concealed carry. You're not cool with that? Absolutely not. No, I'm not. Man, I, I don't know about this guy. I'm sorry, bro. I'm about to, I'm about to jump you out. So um, the fight for liberty continues, but uh, with extremists like that, I don't know if we're going to make it. Shikari Jackson, InfoWars.com. More reports at PrisonPlanet.tv. Uh, so y'all think y'all got rights, right? Yeah, I, I got rights. I do I got rights. I know I got rights. I'm not here with some extremists. These guys think they have rights. I mean, don't you want to feel safe in the United States of America? Not that they're about to molest me. 
And we'll have some more later in the show from Jakari Jackson, including some really riveting man on the street moments. Symbols are powerful, and the globalists have hijacked the symbols of America. They've turned them into their own symbols. Well, we are restoring the idea of the true republic, not the counterfeit globalist empire, by promoting the icon George Washington and others. That's why we're rolling out on a 100% Made in America line of incredible pro-liberty apparel. We are repopularizing liberty. We are helping fellow Americans Americans rediscover what made this country great. We are the spirit of 1776. We are 1776 worldwide. We are all brothers and sisters in arms in the animating contest of liberty in the long march towards humanity's ultimate destiny of freedom. Visit madein1776.com today and vote with your dollars to promote truly made in America high quality products and promote the ideals of liberty. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Well, while the TSA is arbitrarily searching people and abusing their authority, we're also continually having to tell you these sp stories about local police officers who are abusing their authority and getting away with it because people are consenting to it. Here we have an investigation out of Georgia. They've uncovered that multiple police departments have engaged in strip searches of drivers pulled over for just minor traffic violations. The cops will come up and they'll do the vehicle searches and if they come up empty, they turn their attention on the passengers. Then they'll do the pat down and if they don't find anything there, the cops are then ordering people to pull their pants down right on the side of the road. And then they're getting away with it because they'll just say something like, oh, well, I smell marijuana. So that gives them, you know, justifies them searching these people. Now, people might initially consent to a pat-down thinking that they've got nothing to hide, but then the unsatisfied cops will take the search a bit further. Now, according to one victim's attorney, that's a general strip search, which you're not allowed to do unless it's an emergency or it's done in a controlled environment by professional people where other people aren't there to look in a public setting. You can't be moving people's clothing and opening them, particularly in situations where there's not been a custodial arrest. Now this is just so disgusting. It's just another case, another story we have to tell you about cops getting away with this kind of behavior. You've got to know your rights. You do not have to consent to this. It's, it's disgusting and these tactics are getting out of hand and a lot of it has to do with people not realizing that they don't have to consent to this. If you want to know more about what to do if you get pulled over in a, tra a traffic stop situation, go to our YouTube channel and look at Secrets Police Don't Want You to Know with Eddie Craig. He gets into very good detail about what to do if you are pulled over. You've got to remember it's the police officer's job to get you to consent. It is their job to manufacture consent and they will do that by any means necessary. So you've got to know how to invoke your right to plead the fifth the Fourth Amendment to unlawful searches and seizures. You've got to know your rights, and we've got to start taking these bad cops to task. Those who hide behind the badge 